G'day, welcome to another The Pete's Fishing NZ uh, fishing videos. This one today is just about loading up your kayak. It can be easy to forget stuff sometimes if you're going kayaking. I load to a system that so far has meant that I haven't forgotten anything for any of my trips. One of the things with kayaking is that you don't take anything extra. So you don't want to be leaving anything behind when you go out. So I'll just start off by loading what goes inside my car. The paddle will be the first item to go in. Can't be forgotten that way. Alright. Other critical things. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's critical as I get my rods in the car. Okay. Here we go. There's a couple of other things pretty much live in my car, but I always have a towel in the car and uh, I'll make sure there's a, a drink bottle in there as well for the trips. Oh, and there's my book. It's on Amazon. Anybody who likes to read a book, Piss Sparrows and Dance Class, Peter Reese Oaks, available as an e-book. Okay, so the stuff that's got to go inside the car, that's now inside the car. Now, as part of my sequence, wetsuits, wetsuit gear, go into a bin uh, ended up doing this because I got sick of salty wet wetsuits in the boot of the car or the trunk of the car I think you call it in the States if you're watching from the US so this is just a great way of getting your gear on but also not ending up with too much water through your trunk when your trip is over That pops on there. What we've got here is uh, 2017 Toyota, Orion, uh, pretty much the same as a Camry, just a different motor. And they have a really big boot, which is awesome for, for going kayaking and getting your gear on. Okay. Okay, so fish bag, life jacket, wetsuit seat, and I don't know that it matters what your sequencing is when you're loading up to go, but I think that what matters is that you have a sequence, have a system or arrangement, because uh, that way you're less likely to forget stuff. So I have two bags, I get these sorted out after each trip. One bag here's battery, spare traces, the safety clear, safety gear, including my VHF. Fish finder screen pops on top. Another one we've got here. Anchor setup, sea anchor. A few spare bits and pieces. And my rod holders to go on the yak. I'll just fire these two up on the right hand side. Stuff in the corner there, ignore that, that's just my sleepover gear for when I go away. So if you're going away, load some sleepover gear. Okay, next couple of bits. I'll put them down there for now actually. And him. Next bit is the chilli bin, or cooler as they call it in some parts of the world. <laughs> uh, so here's my cooler. Just about big enough for the fish I get, and small enough to fit in the vehicle. I'll just slide them in there. Go in there a bit. 
I have to move this over. Excellent. Get this fella in there. Okay, so that's the boot bit done. Or trunk. Um, one thing for me is when I load my, my yak up, I load it and tie it down um, straight away. I don't load it up and then maybe come back to it. It's just one of those things that when it's on there, tie it on. If you get interrupted or something, you know it's secured. Uh, before you deal with anything. that tied on double check yep secure I give that a snug more yep everything secured everything is in nothing is forgotten and uh, by putting that paddle in first you can't leave that behind either which is no bad thing Anyway, look, thanks for watching this video. Cheers.